The Students in Transition Program, or SIT, stems from a federal law called the McKinney-Vento Act. McKinney-Vento mandates that schools remove barriers that prevent or delay a homeless student's access to public education. To help remove barriers, KPBSD provides liaisons who identify homeless students and connect them to available supports and services in both their schools and their communities. According to McKinney-Vento, students are eligible for SIT supports if they lack a fixed, regular, and adequate nighttime residence. This includes students who are doubled up with family or friends because they can't afford a place of their own, are couch surfing, living in domestic violence or emergency shelters, sleeping in cars, campers, or campgrounds, staying in hotels due to lack of affordable housing, living in substandard housing or housing that poses a health or safety concern, and those that are unsheltered. Students may be part of a larger family unit that is homeless, or they may be homeless, unaccompanied youth. Unaccompanied youth are students in one of the previous situations who are also not in the physical custody of a parent or legal guardian. Under the McKinney-Vento Act, homeless students have certain rights and protections. These include the right to be enrolled immediately and without delay, even without documents normally required, the right to remain in their school of origin, which is the school they attended before they became homeless, transportation to and from the school of origin for the remainder of the school year, and access to free school meals. In addition to these protections outlined by McKinney-Vento, KPBSD recognizes that other barriers to education may exist. SIT offers additional supports on a case-by-case -case basis. These may include assistance obtaining vital records such as birth certificates, school supplies, hygiene products and access to laundry and shower services, basic school clothing to include winter gear, FAFSA verification for graduating homeless unaccompanied youth, and referrals to community programs and services. Referrals for the SIT program come from a variety of places, including outside agencies, homeless students or families themselves, and most frequently, school staff. If you are a KPBSD employee and believe a student may be experiencing homelessness, do not feel the need to determine SIT eligibility. Instead, work with your site administrator and contact your local liaison immediately. Liaisons will work with a student or family to determine eligibility and complete a needs assessment for qualifying students. If you have questions, are a student or family experiencing homelessness or know someone who may benefit from the SIT program, please contact your local liaison via phone, KPBSD district email, or message the KPBSD Students in Transition Facebook page.